Caves are filled with unique and irreplaceable resources. We most commonly think of the geological resources, formations, and crystals. However, caves are also filled with cultural resources. At first glance, many of these resources look a lot like trash lying on the floor. However, if you look more closely, you'll begin to notice that what at first seemed to be trash actually consists of tools and Native American artifacts thousands of years old. You'll also see objects left by early tourists and explorers, such as bottles, shoes, tools, newspaper, and other items. Signatures from the historical era are common throughout the cave. They're a valuable historical resource and should be left undisturbed. Other markings are less obvious. Here on this rock are some tick marks left by Native American torches thousands of years ago. They are, of course, an archaeological resource and should not be disturbed. The cave is also filled with biological resources. Bats are the most obvious example, however there are others, many of which are small and obscure and won't be seen unless you're aware of their existence. Many of these small animals spend a lot of time underneath ledges and in crevices. It's very important that we be careful where we place our hands and feet so that we don't crush them. Many of the tiny cave animals are typically found under rocks on the floor. When we step on rocks off the trail, we put these animals at risk of being crushed. In order to preserve the cave, it's important that we be aware of our surroundings at all times. Stay on the trail as much as possible. Watch where you place your hands and feet. Be aware of the existence of geological, biological, cultural, and historical resources in the cave, and go out of your way to avoid disturbing any of them. By doing all these things, we'll preserve the cave.